In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a JPEG of somebody's logo and turn that into something 3D printable. First of all, I need a test subject. So I'm going to work with the logo for Ken Heron. If you like drones, and especially if you also like puns, it's a great channel. So what I need to do first, search Ken Heron, a perfect type of logo for it, simple and clean. Then I'm going to open that up in Photoshop. Grab the erase tool, scribble out that text, get rid of the white background. It's just going to make it a little bit easier. Now we want to save this as a PNG. It's going to keep that clear background. PNG. There we go. So now I'm pulling that up in Adobe Illustrator. This is a really old version of both Photoshop and Illustrator. Probably find a free software to do the same thing. With that layer selected, I'm going to go to Object Live Trace. We're going to go ahead and just hit Trace and see what happens. And that actually looks pretty good. It's a vector image instead of the JPEG that's just all the pixels. Save as an SVG, not a PNG. We've already got a PNG. And then you can open that up in whatever 3D modeling program you like. I was trying it in Fusion 360, but my Fusion wants to crash today, so I'm just going to do it in 1D 3D design. Import the SVG as a sketch. Having a little hard talk time talking today. And we're going to just go ahead and leave it as the default. It wants to know what kind of file it was saved from. If you're making something that you need it to be a specific size, like if you've traced out a pattern for something, then you want to worry about what size it's bringing it in as. But in this case, it doesn't matter. I'll just scale it in my software for slicing it. So that brings it in looking just like this. We need to be able to extrude this up. Just start drawing in some lines to find out where these areas are that's keeping it from turning into a solid plane. Well, that area is good now, so we just got to find the rest of the areas. Extrude this up. We now have a 3D model. Export this as an STL. Import that into whatever slicing software you're using. I'm printing it backwards so that I can flip this over and have that nice, shiny, beautiful side that's down on the print bite as my main surface. I forgot to record removing it from the print bed, so this is a dramatic reenactment. Oh, it's so stuck. On. Beautiful. How are my acting skills? Let's trim off those strings. Give it a light sanding just so the paint sticks. And then some paint. This is going to take a few coats. Now for some rust. I've pulled out my finest brush for this. It's nice and coarse. It's going to give me some really good textury rust. Now I'm going to go ahead and just seal everything in. I'm going to go ahead and punch a hole through this. This is the same leather I used for strapping the ring wraith armor. Nail for the rivet. Trim that off to about the right length. Thread that all back together. Hammer this rivet down. I guess you could put this on a keychain now. Cool, right? Flying backwards, up, 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 bow steel. Heron.